Malaysia's general election, or GE15, is a numbers game. 945 candidates vying for 222 seats, with 112 seats needed to form government. And at the centre are three key blocks and a wild card. In terms of who is going to win, I think the race will be very tight. The largest and oldest party is the United Malays National Organisation, or UMNO, and at the helm of the UMNO-led Barisan Nasional Coalition is current PM Ismail Sabri Yaakob. But corruption concerns plague the party, most notably the 1MDB scandal which implicated now-imprisoned former Prime Minister Najib Razak. We must redouble our efforts to ensure that victory belongs to the National Front this time. An inter-party power struggle could also see UMNO president and Najib's right-hand man, Zahid, who himself is facing pending corruption charges, challenge Ismail for the top job. A lot of voters in Malaysia are wary of voting for UMNO because they worry that if UMNO does win the elections, Zahid may become the future prime minister. In 2018, Anwar Ibrahim's Pakatan Harapan coalition pulled off a shock election defeat against the long-ruling UMNO. But with Anwar forced to serve time on trumped-up sodomy charges, former PM Dr Mahathir Mohamad was put in charge. But the coalition's hopes for a reform were short-lived when a breakaway Perikatan Nasional Alliance, led by Muhyiddin Yassin, withdrew their support, triggering the collapse of the government. Their government then collapsed and UMNO returned to power. After three PMs in five years, Anwar is looking for redemption. I urge the people to give us the best chance possible. This is really his last shot at a prime ministership. Former PM Muhyiddin Yassin's Perikatan Nasional is also looking for redemption. They're selling political stability as well, but the difference is that they claim that they are the clean Malays compared to the corrupt Malays. While two-time Prime Minister Dr Mahathir Mohamad is trying to claw back to power with his new ethnic bloc, Gerakan Tana Air. If you want to uh, have good politics in Malaysia, everybody should go out and vote out the uh, corrupt uh, parties. At 97 years of age, Mahathir already holds the Guinness World Record for oldest serving PM. He'll probably win his own seat in Langkawi, but really this is the end of his political career. Voting is not compulsory, but after the voting age was lowered from 21 to 18, there are millions of first-time voters who could play a key role. I still have bills to pay. I still have rent to pay. I still have uh, my career up ahead, and I still need to look for a job. So I would vote for any party that could give us stability in this case. Economic recovery after COVID-19, inflation concerns and political stability are all top of mind for voters. A lot of people understand that without political stability, really Malaysia cannot recover from the pandemic and you really can't have long-term economic growth. But the political storm is not the only one brewing. With Malaysia in monsoon season, torrential rains could also impact voter turnout. Talia Olatia, ABC News.